Uh, so we've, we've been talking about uh, the whole idea of um, personal cloud and personal data for some years now, uh, partly from the point of view of uh, some of the efficiency gains to be made by having data stored uh, where it originates and not copying it all somewhere else all the time, um, which gives you maybe improved access, uh, access control, um, lower access times, potentially lower energy use and so on. But then the new topic that got added in was kind of the idea of uh, the user having control over who sees their data uh, and having knowledge of who sees it. And so, um, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, part and parcel of that is, you know, who, who is the user and who's the other person. And so for me, one of the interesting discussions that we've had from several different directions is the idea of, you know, what is identity uh, of, of, of a person? You know, what can you infer about what a person uh, preferences or what kind of person they are from what data you see about them? Um, and what can they infer about other people about, you know, their curiosity about them themselves? So there's a, there's a whole bunch of different aspects to the whole idea of identity. Um, and, and, and going with that is sort of disclosing what your identity is. And also there's a, uh, a kind of nuanced discussion around it that's sort of implied a few times, I'm not sure it was made explicit, which is that the notion is that there's an identity, which is, which is a, bit, a bit weird, and people have personas and they have different ways of presenting themselves to different people. And, and part of the reason for having privacy is because you, you display different personas to different people, and if everyone can see all of them all the time, uh, that causes all kinds of cognitive dissonance. Um, and legal problems and ethical problems.